For me personally, my time here at Fremantle really helped shape my life. It started with players such as Sandlands, McFarlane and Pavlidge who role model day in, day out what it takes to be excellent on and off the field. And really, over my seven years at the club, as I, my life changed and I grew and I became a father of two, the club showed me in new ways how they could support me. Staff members constantly going above and beyond to help look after the kids. You come in for a, you know, a Sunday treatment and you've got the physios looking after your kids while you're doing things. You've got um, you know, Rachel at the front desk who's babysitting when you come in Thursday for a weight session on your day off. So those things um, really make a difference. And it didn't stop there. It really started at the top of the tree. And two men down here, uh, Steve Rossage and, and Ross Lyon, always extended multiple occasions uh, to myself and Liv to help the Spurs out whenever we need it. So thank you to them um, and those people that I mentioned. And through the club's connections, they've been able to assist me with player sponsors that have really mentored me off field and given me something else. Um, really my pursuits in business where I've uh, wanted to grow and learn and change. And I've had a few dabbles in media that at times weren't super successful. I've got a few clips from the boss. <laughs> but that was all part of it and learning. So I really enjoyed that. And Fremantle always prioritised my study, um, my education for my life after football. This was not only acknowledged through the board, but it was also flowed down through the whole club. Um, one particular example really stands out to me. Um, I'd like to share that story with you. I think it was 2015. Um, I'd been studying for an exam all week, had my notes printed out, uh, spent every spare minute I had. I was on the physio table reading, and it, it got to the day before, and my personal physio, Greg Mullins, uh, noticed I was a little bit, I'll put it stressed, he'll probably say agitated. Um, and Within an hour, that information somehow had been upstairs and I bumped into Ross Lyon by chance in the hallway. And um, Ross said to me, he goes, how are you? And like, as any player says, when it's three days, four days from the game, I'm fantastic, Ross, nothing's wrong. <laughs> I'm great. Um, but he knew straight away, he could see straight through that. And he grabbed me and he said, go see the strength and conditioning coaches. We're across board, I've spoken to them. Do your training, get it done, go home. I said, yep, I'll get it done, I'm fine. He goes, no, I don't want to see you again until after your exam's done. And that moment for me really showed that they prioritised my life and it's about more than just being a footballer. It's about who you are as a person and what you can provide. And um, yeah, really, I think it's fantastic. 